I mean, we deep in his door. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa with the Moza R9 to take a look at my new drift settings that I've been using for just the wheel. So we are running the Moza R9 with the Moza Quick Release on one of my NRG Innovations wheels. So we are not running a Moza wheel. So I'm going to go over my new drift settings that I've been working with and we're going to be taking out one of the new VDC cars because that's what everybody seems to be driving right now. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you're found in the description box below. Let's do it. First and foremost, we need to get into our pit house settings. So for the pit house settings, what I'm running is obviously 900 degrees of rotation. Road sensitivity, I'm running at 10. Game uh, force feedback is 70. Maximum wheel speed is 150. No spring. And we're running 5% wheel dampening. Now for advanced, we're running max output. We're running no natural inertia, which is something totally different that I've been running recently. And I love how it feels. We're running a wheel friction of 15 and we're, this is all off and hand protection is off. Now, one of the bigger changes is this here of the force feedback equalizers. So we're running 10 Hertz at 200, 240, 300, 300 and 300 so that's the settings we're running for the moza r9 without any circuits or anything like that just a wheel on one of the moza racing quick releases so let's actually get into driving this thing so we are at road atlanta which is a track that is either good or bad this track can be pretty tricky to drive but it's absolutely a lot of fun so we're gonna go full send here on this next level racing everywhere Big thing, of course, next level for the chassis. Kicking this in the fourth. Initiate way too early. We're going to hop over that curb, so we initiated too early. And we'll have to correct that in the next run. But as you can see, the wheel is rotating extremely easy and quite nicely. That was a pretty terrible run and head aspect of that one. So we're going to give it another full go where we can initiate correctly. But this is the stuff I'm running without natural inertia. It's something I've been trying to do recently is run these wheels without natural inertia and have a lot of fun with it because the wheel is capable more than capable of doing it all. So we're going to go next run. A bit better of initiation. And throwing it down the hill. Oh, my hand slipped out of the wheel there for a second. So there's a lot of force feedback implied in this wheel and everything like that but the wheel does handle amazing. So we're gonna go into it on online session and go full send and try and grab some tandems as well. So I'll catch you guys when we get on grid. So this is the most packed uh, VDC on Barno circuit that I've seen and we're all the way back in the grid. We got a lot of people here on this server. So we're gonna see what we can do if we can't get a couple leads, maybe some chases, but we're just fully sending these wheel settings here for today to show you guys, well, apparently he wants to go. What wheel settings I've been running recently and in the most used pack so far. Cut that in on that inner clip. A little break in there. Overall, and not too shabby of a run, if I do say so myself. We're going to go back. We're going to lower this a little bit. We're going to kick this back up, you know. 
a little bit too loud on my surround sound. But overall, I've been super happy with how this wheel is feeling with these settings, with the no inertia and everything like that. And the wheel speed up at about 150. So if you want to give this wheel settings a chance, you know, give them a chance. Let me know what you think about them. If you're running the R9 without, you know, you know, a Moza wheel, they feel really good because originally Moza wouldn't let you run or adjust any of the inertia if you didn't have a Moza wheel on. So we're running this just quick release and basic settings. See if we can't get a good chase on this S13. Got lost him through there. That S13 is so fast, and he said I'm head out. S13 head out. So we're gonna go back and see if we, like I said, see if we can't get a good chase. So a bit of an update on my wheel settings and everything that I've been using recently on the R9 because a lot of people have been asking recently and for those asking for the tune that I'm running on this Mustang, all I have is the brakes adjusted and the gear ratio. I have not changed anything else on this at all. This is factory settings and things like that. So I didn't really have to adjust much to make the car handle really well because the VDC cars off the rip handle extremely well. Now we got a little uh, Ford versus Chevy going on right now. Followed him in on that one when we got it. I think my gear ratio might be slightly off. Ah, he's out. We're gonna adjust the quick gear ratio real quick. We need to bop that. Yeah, we need, actually need to bop that back a lot. So, like I said, I hope this does help you guys if you guys are looking for R9 settings and stuff like that. These are, you know, like I said, what I've been running. Apparently, we're leading. Curse of online sessions. Everybody always wants to chase. But we having a blast here in the new VDC cars. Let me get blasted. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> I knew that was bound to happen. I tend to uh, get blasted on the initiation for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Because I'm not really that slow on my initiation. But we're going to see what happens about this red name car. Try and follow him. Much better gear ratio. So like I said, I hope this helps you guys. If you guys were looking and wondering what settings I've been running recently, especially with the no Moza wheel, I kind of lost him in that. Lost him in the sauce, lost him in the smoke. I'll catch him back up on this wall though. So definitely uh, been, like I said, having a blast and just throwing it down. Going to be doing some Forza Horizon 5 and stuff like that, bringing that stuff back to the channel, as well as other random tandems and things like that here. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. Okay. He's going to head this. I was not sure what that man was doing. Okay. Public sessions. Gotta love them. I mean, we deep in his door. <laughs> so as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.